what's up you guys my name is Francesca welcome to my YouTube channel Francesca's world I make videos on luxury fashion and mainly handbags if you like that kind of stuff go ahead and like this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel today we're going to be doing a review and a show and tell of the YSL Lulu bag in the medium size so if you're interested then just keep watching all right everyone so this is the YSL Lulu bag. This is the size medium in the color black with silver hardware. On the website, the color is called Noir or Nior. I'm not sure how you pronounce it. Um, so it's made of calfskin leather, all black. It's kind of like a, almost like a smooth, like glaze kind of leather. Um, and I'll give you a 360 here. So this is the front of the bag. And on the website, they call this the, I think like a Y shaped leather. Was the side of the bag, back of the handbag, and I guess this is where you see the Y at. The other side, and again the front. It comes with this chain strap that you can put on your shoulder, and then once you drop it like this, it can turn into either a longer shoulder bag or a crossbody. I personally think this size is a little bulky crossbody, but I have done it before. Um, I have owned this bag for at least two years now. So when I purchased my Lulu bag, it was definitely probably when I first became a travel nurse and that was right in the beginning of COVID. So it has to be at least two years old now. And when I purchased this originally, it was about $2,400. I don't remember the exact price. I'm sorry. So I'm going to give you guys the new price on the website. Okay, sorry. I had to look it up because I have no idea how much this bag costs. So FYI though, I do know that St. Laurent just had a pretty decent price increase i heard from some other people so anyway the medium okay so the lulu medium chain bag in quilted wide leather so this is what this bag is called on the website is now thirty two hundred dollars which that's a that's a lot since i purchased it i guess so i do think the bag is still worth that price um considering a lot of these smaller bags from other fashion houses are like 3000 and way smaller than this bag. So I do think you get good value for money with St. Laurent, but that is a big price increase still. So that's, yeah, because I paid about $2,400. I know I didn't pay more than $2,500 for this bag. So anyway, the new price again is $3,200. I'm going to give you guys the dimensions. So the dimension of the bag is going to be 126 by 8.7 by 4.7 inches. Um, the strap drop is, when it's doubled like this, is 26 inches based on the website. Single strap, it's gonna be 48 centimeters. So I have the silver hardware. So I'm gonna show you guys like the closure. So the closure here is magnetic and it goes like so. I'm already going to point out that the major negative for me with this bag is the closure. <laughs> um, even though it, it's not like a big deal or anything, but it's just annoying to oh, go in and out of. It's like it's kind of sort of a struggle sometimes. So that's one negative already about this bag. But other than that, um, I really don't have too many negatives about this bag, actually. So I'm going to show you guys the inside of the bag. So once you open it there's nothing in here okay so um it has two compartments it has this larger compartment in the front of the handbag and then the back part has this like smaller compartment then it has this middle the thing like uh or whatever this right here is like a little zip pocket that separates those two the like the big section into two compartments and it does have this zipper here on the side where you can put like smaller items so that's how the handbag is like constructed on the inside i don't know what the inside is made out of it just looks like some type of like cloth or something it's not leather lined or anything so that is pretty much the basics of the bag and again you can already see the wear and tear on my handbag i've had this bag for two years and i'm not gonna lie i don't really take care of this bag this is one of my this is like my everyday bag that i don't have to worry about and i know that sounds crazy because this bag is expensive but this is kind of how what i consider like my 
I can do whatever what I, I want with this bag without getting my feelings hurt because this bag is very durable. All right, guys, let's talk about what fits in here. So again, you open it up, it's got two sections. That's what it looks like. This bag is very big, it fits a lot of stuff. I would say but uh, besides my tote bags, this is the bag that fits the most items in it for sure. It fits more than the Chanel Jumbo. So I'm gonna go ahead and start with an iPad. I don't know the generation or whatever the hell it's called, but this goes, I said goes, <laughs> this fits in this handbag. I put it in the little back section, see that? And if you can see already, there's still a decent amount of space in there. I'm gonna go ahead and put this little thing I got from my Neverfull, whatever this pouch is from Louis Vuitton in here. Fits in there. Wallet um, also fits in there. And I still have a bunch of space left. So I'm recording with my phone. So here's my phone slash phone case. That fits in there. Glasses case. That fits in there. Keys. That fits in there. Some lip stuff. And it's all in there. You can fit a water bottle in here. I mean, I just threw some random stuff in here. Obviously, I don't think I need a pouch and a wallet and all these different things, but the bag closes up just fine. That's what it looks like, closed. I will say I do think I put too much in here, but it fits, so that's what fits in here. Do I carry all this? No, but yeah. I mean, you can rearrange it any way you want to. And so, yeah, this bag is very, it's very spacious. I really do recommend this handbag, especially if you're just getting into the luxury handbags and you don't want to pay 10000 for no damn Chanel bag or Hermes or Birkins and all that crazy prices. This for $3,200 is definitely a win in my eyes. Right, let's get into some pros and cons about this bag. And please forgive me because I'm going right off the top of my head. So it might be a little disorganized. But I'm going to start off with the pros because I have a lot more pros than cons. So pro for me is going to be the how durable the bag is. So I do not baby this bag at all, sadly. I don't put it in a box. I don't put it in a dust bag. It'd be on the floor, on the sofa. I don't stepped on it. I don't throw it in the back <laughs> of my car on the floor. It's terrible, but this bag, that's probably is why it's a little bit wrinkly, but it still looks good. This leather is like very soft. It's kind of like, you know how the bags now are like very like that soft, like puffy leather. It's giving that kind of vibe. So I feel like, I don't know, it still to me looks fine after two years. Um, so that's one pro of the bag, very durable. Like I can scratch, I have long nails. This bag, I, it doesn't really, it doesn't have scratches. It has more so just creases for me like doing stuff like this to it, but no scratches at all, honestly, on the bag. Here's the bottom of the bag that sits on the floor and does whatever it wants. And this is still what it looks like after two years. Oh, look, I think I do have a scratch there, see that? But like. I don't pay attention to that kind of stuff personally. So anyway, so there's um, one of the main pros, I would say. I also like the uh, the versatility of the bag. So again, it has these two chain straps. So if you know Chanel bags, which is like classic flap is like my favorite handbag. So to me, this is giving me classic uh, flap vibes with this chain strap here and how you can adjust it to crossbody slash long shoulder bag to just a shoulder bag. So that's another pro of this handbag, especially for the price. So a lot of times you'll buy a top handle or a shoulder bag or a crossbody. You can't even change it up and then you damn $3,000 for one style of bag. At least this is $3,000 for two to three styles of bags. So to me, that is um, good, basically. Um, another pro of the bag, I would say is the size. I personally like larger bags. I have a few small bags, but really most of my handbags are like medium to large size. So I think it fits a lot of stuff. I'm gonna, uh, well, I already showed you guys what it fits in here, but it's just extremely spacious. You'll never ever run out of space in this bag. Like if you don't wanna carry a tote bag, but you want a bigger handbag, 
medium Lulu from St. Laurent. One of the other pros I'm gonna say is the price. And you know, this can go back and forth because you know, bags are just expensive at this point. So it's always truly a con. But for me, even with the new price increase, I do still think this handbag is worth it because it's pretty classic looking. It can go with everything. It's very versatile. It's durable. So if you're just getting into luxury fashion, I really would highly recommend the Lulu bag in any of the sizes. And for cons, the only con I really would have to say is this stupid closure because this closure is just very annoying sometimes to get in and out. I just feel like I have to fight it and that's I guess can be a good thing but sometimes it's just it's like I want to just easily get in the bag I don't want to have to be pulling it and constantly to, um when I'm at the register and whatnot but other than that that's really the only like that's really the only uh con I have for this handbag I really do think this is a great handbag I just went through the cons of the bag but I'm gonna also go over a very important pro of this bag that I almost forgot you guys, this bag is lightweight compared to a lot of bags this size, and that is such a good thing. This bag, though, for the size, is the weight is excellent. It's not heavy. Even when you put stuff in it, it never really feels heavy to me, and I just think that's such a great thing for a bag this size. So, yeah, that was the last pro of the bag, so, yeah. So, this is how I usually wear this bag. is a shoulder bag like this, and this is where it falls on me. Sometimes I wear it like this, depending on what I'm doing or whatever. I don't usually wear it like this, but you can. I don't like big bags sitting on my waist like this, but this is how it looks crossbody on me. All right, guys, that is the end of my review and show and tell of the YSL Lulu bag. If you like this video, go ahead and like this video and subscribe to my channel. Go ahead and follow me on Instagram, which is F Shakur RN. And I hope you guys have a blessed day and thank you for watching. Bye.